Good morning, everybody. Uh, beautiful Florida morning today. Sunshine and temperatures going down. Uh, man, it's going to be an open garage door day for sure today. Got a little project here to do. Uh, Steve next door is building a wine cart, wine cabinet, and he's got a, a, a enclosed area on the side needed a door for it. Thought this would be a great opportunity to talk about making cabinet doors. Uh, half inch overlay. Uh, I've already cut my parts to length, so I've got my rails already cut. Uh, I did the uh, pocket screws when I was doing the Craig Foreman review, so I, I had it out, so I went ahead and cut the pocket screw holes uh, for, the, for the rails. And got the styles cut. Uh, this is Poplar, a little bit more stable. Home Depot and Lowe's has not been getting very good uh, primed uh, lumber in lately, so been having a big issue with their lumber. Uh, a little bit more work with this because it's going to have to be primed before it's painted, so there's a little bit more to do for it. So I'm going to walk through how to build a cabinet door today. Uh, half inch overlay, we're going to put in the recessed European hinges, uh, have all that set up, and then we'll go through the whole process on how you make a cabinet door. I'm going to inlay the panel. We'll use the router table to uh, cut our rabbit all the way around the inside. And then we'll, uh, we'll lay our panel in. I'll go through how I do my panels. I'm sure everyone has a way of doing it. Uh, I don't like it when a panel rattles inside a door. So I like to caulk mine in and then use a couple of pin nails to hold it in. So we'll go through that whole process. Uh, some of it I'm just gonna do time-lapse. Uh, we'll do it really quickly, put the, uh, put the frame together. Then we'll slow down a little bit, go on the router table. Uh, and then I'll use another Rockler uh, jig to cut the rounded radius on each corner of the panel so it just drops right down into the rabbit. So this is my way of doing doors. Uh, like I said, uh, everybody's got their own way of doing it. Um, but we'll, we'll go over how it, how it goes and then this will give you a quick idea on how to build some cabinet doors. If you've got a shop, uh, just make a bunch for your cabinets in your shop. Make some cabinets for storage and stuff. It's a great way to practice. That's how I started. I just started making stuff for my shop that nobody was ever going to see but me. And then once you get better at it, start making cabinets. Uh, so here we go. We're going to uh, build a cabinet door, and then we'll, uh, we'll go through it start to finish. Thank you guys for coming by and watching. Okay, we've got the rails and styles assembled. So we've got our door assembled. Nice flush on the front. A little bit of sand in to finish it up there. Um, now we're ready to cut our rabbit and fire panel. Okay, we used our rabbit in bit. We got our rabbit cut in here. Really clean rabbit. Now for the sake of uh, transparency, I did sand out the fuzzies after I took it off the router table. And now what we'll do is we'll use the uh, Rockler Radius jig for the corners. You can see the half inch radius is exactly what we need. So we'll use the Rockler jig on the panel to cut the panel to size to drop into the rabbit.
Okay, we got our uh, panel cut to size here. We're gonna use a flush trim bit with a ball bearing, which will ride up here on this. And that's how we're gonna go around and do the radius. Then this goes over the edge of the panel. So I'm using, uh, my, in case anyone wonders about my router setup, this is a Jessam Pro Lift. Uh, it's a fantastic um, lift. I really love it. it. It does a great job. So you can just crank up your, your router, use the offset wrenches, makes it real easy to change out your bits very quick. I just love how fast this is and how easy and you're not bending down and crawling under tables. Uh, if you don't have offset wrenches for your router, if you have a router uh, built into your table saw, I highly recommend. These are from Rockler. Uh, I use a lot of Rockler stuff. Uh, some of their stuff is just fantastic. Uh, absolutely love it. But these are great, really big time saver. Uh, the Jessam lift comes with a whole bunch of different inserts. Uh, I like this one for doing these because in it, the dust collection will pick up the stuff little tool to lock them in and then all we have to do this fits right over the edge of your board so you can see it has little tabs on the bottom it fits over the edge of the board your panel and once you get it where you want it you have a little handhold here and you're just going to run this around the router bit so we want to set our router depth, our bit depth, so the ball bearing catches the jig. So just to get that adjusted. So the ball bearing is going to ride on the jig. Then the flush trim bit will trim it up right to where we want it. The just lift has a lock, so when you lock it, that router bit stays exactly where you set it. It doesn't move. Okay. Hook up some dust collection. Move the dust collector over. There we go. So we have our half inch radius, all four corners. Our panel should just drop into our uh, rails and stiles and have our panel in. Okay, got the panel cut, got our corners rounded, and we're ready to drop it in. Drops right in, fits perfect. Gives you a nice look on the back of your doors. I always cut mine uh, about a sixteenth of an inch smaller around. You need to allow a little bit of room for some expansion and contraction. You don't want to make it real tight and then have a failure later on. Since I use a bead of caulk when I lay mine in and then shoot it with pin nails, uh, I don't get rattling. Uh, the caulk is sort of flexible, so it gives you that uh, little bit of movement room uh, so that you don't have any failures later on. But there you go, that'll be a, that'll be a panel. You can see. Nice shaker style look. And once it's caulked and painted, uh, it looks very, very clean.
you can see, using the pocket holes obviously leaves some holes. So in the back of my doors, I like to use some paint grade pocket hole fillers. And all we'll do is just put them right in here. We'll glue them in once the glue dries. I take the sander with some 60 grit paper and then just sand them flush. I like to do all this before I caulk in my panel. I uh, don't want to be running sandpaper up against the caulk. Okay, we've got our, uh, got our door made. So I got the panel done caulked it on the inside, panels all together. So now we got to cut in our concealed hinges. So I'm going to use the Craig. This is another jig from them. I've got it set for a half inch overlay, so you can set it on the bottom. So I'm set for a half inch overlay. We're just going to line this up. If you put it right flush with the edge, it puts you three and a half inches down, which is your standard location to put a hinge on a cabinet door. Got your bit, 35 millimeter Forstner bit. Put that on the drill. Goes right on here, locks in. You have a depth collar set, drill it down. Perfect pocket hole every time. You have two small holes on either side, so set up two drills. One for the 35 millimeter, one for a 16th inch bit uh, to put in your screws that hold in your hinge. So, I'm going to put, drill these out right now, then the door is going to be done, ready to go back to Steve for installation. Okay, as you can see, Get the holes cut. Perfect for a half inch overlay concealed hinge. So there we go. One cabinet door. Uh, pretty simple. Cabinet doors are not that hard to make. Uh, just accurate measurements, knowing what your overlay is, knowing what type of hinges that you're using, and then just cutting everything accurately. Things go together fairly well. Uh, this is going to be a painted one, so you can use uh, putty to fill in def defects and uh, caulk to caulk in your seams and things like that. If you're doing natural wood, there's a little bit more involved. You got to be way more precise. You got to be uh, uh, definitely a lot better lumber so that you don't have defects and things in there. Uh, the lumber situation in America right now is just crazy. Like it, it's expensive. It's you know, we're, we're paying four times the cost what we used to. But hey, things will come around, it always does. Uh, thanks for looking, I appreciate you stopping by the channel. Leave your comments, if anybody's got any uh, tips, suggestions, wanna talk about the way they do things, uh, that's awesome, man, just leave me a comment and everything. But thanks again for coming by, thanks for looking, subscribe, hit that bell button, you'll be notified whenever I post up a new video. Uh, we'll see, this has been a, it's been a great little build right here. So you guys have a great day.